What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Control Peachy, and today I'll be doing a review of a game called Dirty Bomb, earlier known as Extraction, which is a free-to-play fast-paced shooter game developed by Splash Damage, which you can find on Steam. Splash Damage is the creators of Brink, Enemy Territory Quake Wars, and Wolfenstein Enemy Territory. Now, I have not played any other game apart from Dirty Bomb that's been made by Splash Damage. But I really enjoyed this game, and I have played it quite a lot, actually. Splash Damage loves multi-stage objectives, where you move along the map after you've done a certain objective. Let's say you plant a C4 when it blows up. Then your spawn point will move up the map, and you will continue. That way you'll feel like you're playing more than one map every time you play. They're still adding classes and maps every week, and Splash Damage also have several dev streams during the week, and I will put a link down below for you to easily access. Dirge Bomb currently involves around 17 mooks, all for medics, objective specialists, snipers, heavies, and more. You can equip three mooks for your squad, which you can change when the game is over and you are pushed back into the lobby. The game is using a loadout system, which is in simple terms different cards with different perks and weapons. The loadouts are based on rarity, and the rarity are as follows. Lead, Iron, Bronze, Silver, Gold and Cobalt. But you do not need higher than a Bronze loadout if you are not interested in cosmetics, which is the skin of the weapon. You can gain these loadouts without buying it for real cash. Now, know this, there are some people that say this game is completely pay-to-win based. I'm here to tell you that it is not. The game itself offers you cases every third match you make, and you can trade up to a bronze loadout easily. Now, the game is based in London, and is set in a post-apocalyptic wasteland with no law and no order. And the game itself is very team-based, and everyone must do their part in the team in order to win. As you saw earlier, there are plenty of mercs to buy for credits. When you first start playing Dirty Bomb, you will have the merc Skyhammer and Aura for free, and then the additional, as I call it, free weak mercs that shuffle around. Skyhammer is a very useful merc, and probably the most used merc in the game. Skyhammer has 120 health and uses assault rifles. The assault rifles are BR-16, which is basically a burst M4, or M3, the Timic, AK-47, and then the standard M4. Now, the M4 is the most accurate one, but the Timic does more damage, but has reduced accuracy. The BR-16 is really great now, after they nerfed it and then boosted it again. But of course, you have to find what weapon suits your playstyle the best. Skyhammer have two different abilities, ammo packs and airstrikes. The ammo packs are basically what it says, you can give out ammo to either yourself or your teammate and you will gain XP from that. Airstrikes can be used towards objectives like the EV on some maps, which I will talk about soon. The airstrikes will however turn into a grenade if thrown indoors that does moderate damage if you actually manage to hit your target, which can be very hard. Aura is a medic that has 80 health, but has significant boost in speed. Aura focuses on shotguns and just a one SMG weapon named Blishlock. The shotguns are very different in this game compared to other games. The shotgun works great on close ranges, but also works decently on longer ranges, which is kinda interesting because you don't necessarily will lose a fight because you're using a shotgun if you're facing a merc that's using a medium range weapon like the Timic. Aura also has two different abilities, the Healing Station and the Defibrillator. Now, every merc in the game is equipped with a Defibrillator for faster resurrection. Now, note this, that is if they are not completely downed. When you kill an enemy, you must completely down them to prevent them from getting back up by other teammates. The Healing Station is basically what it says, it will heal your teammates in an AoE which is great for holding positions or pushing for upwards the map itself. The Blish Lock that I named earlier is a slow RPM rounds per minute SMG that is the weakest but also probably the strongest SMG in the game depending on how you use it. 
Since the Blishlock has low RPM, but high damage, you must be very accurate on hitting the head for extra damage. The maps, as said earlier, changes when you do the objectives. There are different sorts of objectives, delivering drug samples, planting C4, escorting EV to a drop zone. Finishing an objective will move you up the map, but also know that there are secondary objectives that will help you complete the main ones. For example, raising a bridge so you can go a different route, or change access, or get access to a stationary MG. Or, you can lock your opponents into going around instead of straight forward by, let's say, blocking their spawn with a wall. The EV itself holds a MG which you can enter whilst escorting, but be aware of snipers, because they will most likely focus you since you are sitting still in the rolling EV and will instantly kill you by using a sniper rifle. If you're playing objective mode, you will have a respawn timer and you are only playing as defender or attacking each map. Unlike Stopwatch where you play as both sides, both attackers and defenders. The respawn timer can be found up in the left top corner next to the time left of the match. The maps themselves are very good, but I am a bit disappointed in the way that they don't release new maps more often. Thus far I've played like 300 hours I think. They've only released one map, but three new mooks. I know this for a fact was playing Dirty Bomb and streaming Dirty Bomb, that people want new maps rather than new mooks. What will most likely get you hooked into this game is the moving maps themselves, aka the way you move along the map instead of just standing still. In my opinion, map variety and the amount of different ways to play the game makes it way more intriguing than just playing the same thing over and over again like, like let's say, CSGO. We do the same thing over and over again in a slow moving pace. You plant the C4, you kill the enemy team, you move on, you do the same thing over and over again for like 16 rounds. Now, notice the CSGO has way more maps, don't get me wrong. Like most games, you also have access to a quick chat. You can use the quick chat to call for a medic, ammo, or tell people you're pushing, but also you usually just end up taunting your enemy. Dirty Bomb holds team voice chat as well if you're interested in faster communications. Dirty Bomb just had an update, so that now you can make private matches with your friends where you can do whatever you want, like blow people up or just try out different jumps. Oh, and talking about jumps. You have the ability to jump twice on walls, which can be used to get around the map or to en engage or disengage out of combat. You also have something called a long jump, which is really, really handy to learn because some jumps will not work, for example on dome, unless you learn how to long jump. Now the easiest way to long jump is sprinting forwards and pressing control space, that is crouching and jumping at the same time. Now, in my opinion, this game is really good, and I would totally recommend this game to anyone looking for a fast-paced shooter game. The guns are very bad balanced, and you barely have any difficult time hitting your target due to the low recoil on most weapons. The game is very, also very well optimized and can run pretty well on low-end computers, as well as the way you can change your HUD if you're interested. This is done by going into the Unreal Engine 3 folder and editing your base code UI. I will do a tutorial on how to change your Dirty Bomb HUD next time. You also have a very good options menu to change your crosshair, sounds, video quality, and so forth. But also, the way you can easily access your favorite Merc's different loadouts by playing the game itself. What I right now dislike, like I mentioned earlier, is how splash damage is not creating more maps faster and putting their resources into making new Mercs. Now that is personal opinion, and I don't know if anyone else agrees with me. Other than that, the game is very well balanced, and I do recommend it to you all. Now, that is all that I have to do in this review. If you liked it, please sub to the channel, and share it with your friends. If not, I will see you next time. Live long and prosper, people. Oh, <laughs> oh,